All right, here's a brief little video to show you our templates and explain to you how they're set up and what everything means. Uh, at the top here, you'll see the little symbol, and it'll have the faction. For example, this one is a hexite. There's also the velocitrons and the magnamods. And then next to it, you have the name of the nanovore. This one's a dread jaw pro. Underneath that, we'll come over here to the team cost. There'll be one, two, or three diamonds. This one's a two diamond. When you're building your teams for battle, you uh, when you start the game, you have seven diamond slots available to build a team with. And once you reach level 21, you'll unlock where you have 10 diamond slots to build a team with. So this will tell you how many diamond slots that this nanovore will take up when using it in your team. Next to that, we have the base stats, the health, the speed, and the armor. When you upgrade them to level 2 and then to level 3, it lists the stats, what they will be for that after the increase. Underneath here is the pitcher. This is the base nanovore picture right here in the center. And then over here we have the level 2 picture and the level 3 picture. As you can see, once it upgrades, the looks of it changes slightly. Also underneath the, each picture for the different level, we have the attack damage because the attack damage changes as well. Underneath the main picture, some nanovore you're unable to use until you reach a certain level. If that's the case, then you'll see the little lock symbol here, and it'll tell you what level it's unlocked at. So, for example, this Dread Jaw Pro is unlocked at level 13. This little section here underneath of that, the level up cost. To upgrade your Dread Jaw Pro from level 1 to level 2 will require 3,300 jolts. To upgrade it from 2 to 3, it'll cost 7,700 jolts. And over here is the nanovore cost to actually purchase the nanovore. Some nanovore you can purchase with jolts. Some nanovore you have to spend nano cash. So in this case, the Dreadjaw Pro, once you unlock it, you can purchase it for 3,250 jolts. You cannot purchase it with nano cash. Finally, if we scroll down, the bottom of the template here is the attack details. The name of the attack is a chomp. It requires three energy to use it and it is a bite attack type. The effects me section shows any effects that the attack has on your nanovore or your team and then the effects enemy is what the attack does to your opponent. So in this example the effects me he provides an orange power up so he places an orange power up into play for other nanovore to use for you for your team. The effects enemy he does 22 damage and this symbol here means that it's armor piercing damage. And when there is a power up in play, some nanovore have a power play attack, and the details will be listed here. This nanovore puts a power up into play, so it does not have a power play attack, so there's nothing listed here. So next we'll go to another nanovore with that information. So here we see a, a Ram Roller Pro. You see it's a Velocitron. It is also two diamonds. Here's its different stats. Here's the different looks for the different levels as well as the change in damage attack. Here's the jolt cost to upgrade it. As you can see here, this one can be purchased for 14 nano cash. And we'll scroll down here. His attack is called a sparks, requires two energy, and it's an electric type attack. Doesn't affect anything for your team, but it affects the enemy with 28 armor piercing damage. And as you can see, the 28 there, if we scroll back up, Level 2 it becomes 35 and level 3 becomes 41 damage. And then finally here's a here's an example of a power play. It uses a green power up so if you had a nanovore that placed a green power up which would have been in this section here and then while that power up is in play you attacked with this nanovore he would use the green power up which would enable him to do this attack here. He would do 28 armor piercing damage and reduce your opponent's speed by 25. And this is the sim symbol for speed. And then the effects me would it would be it would remove the power up. Also, I want to note that while this says it's 28 damage for the power up, that this changes with the level as well. 
So if you were level 2 and did a power play, it would do 35 damage and the minus 25 speed, or 41 damage for level 3 with the minus 25 to speed. Now a lot of these templates use symbols from the game. If you're not familiar with the symbols, if you click up here on the Nanowar Evolution at our website, and then go down here to the gameplay icons, and scroll down, here's a, a quick little thing that shows you the different icons used in the game and what they represent. For example, some Nanovore have a power play that has this symbol and a minus two, which will basically mean that it would minus two from your opponent's energy pool. So there's a quick little rundown of the templates, what they represent, and hope to see you in the Nanosphere soon.